and welcome to your Go Live Market Update Charts of Interest for today, Tuesday the 27th of December 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst of Go Markets here. Hope you had a wonderful Christmas day with those you care about and are still enjoying a holiday. Obviously, some of the markets are open today and we can just talk about what's happening right now because we, there could be some significant market movement over the next few days to take notice of. Uh, if we look at what's coming across the news, obviously US markets were positive before the Christmas break, surviving another test of the recent lows on softer than expected PCE data. We talked about this last week and indeed it did come in fairly soft. US futures are positive in early trading. We're seeing a little follow through from last week. The Nasdaq's up about 0.75% in early Asian trading and has moved up since open. Asian indices are also doing well, though obviously only some are open. The ASX is closed. We've seen the Nikkei doing well this morning. European equity futures are also pointing higher and the VIX futures lower. US dollar looks a bit weaker today against most currencies apart from the Japanese yen. May test support on the US dollar index. Gold is holding 1800 and copper is beginning to look strong again. Perhaps a little momentum coming back into this may be sufficient to test recent highs. And oil is also towards the top of the range testing resistance. Bitcoin remains below 1700 and is trading within a range. Interestingly, Ethereum is looking pretty interesting around about 1225. And it's obviously a quiet day today with many markets being shut. But we do have some US housing, trade balance and manufacturing numbers due later on tonight. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts to catch on our eye. Right? We're going to start with the Aussie yen. You can see there we have breached this key level here at around about 89.26. And since Asian market opened, we do appear to have some buy-in in the Aussie. Suggesting a trend continuation from what happened on Friday. You can see there we had a steady up move. A couple of small pullbacks, but this move here not only breaks this level here, but also suggest that continuation now in terms of where this could go if we pop back to the four hour chart we had this big drop on that bank of japan intervention we are now around about 40 percent retracement on this and there could be more upside potential in this possibly in the first instance up to 90 cents but maybe even beyond that we mentioned ethereum and it's worthwhile having a look at this chart on the four hour chart this is asian open today you can see there 1225 looks interesting quite choppy early on in asian trading uh, quite a lot of volume initially but really needs to breach this tour 25 to prove that we are trading out of the range a possible move up over time if we do get some buying pressure into cryptos of around about 1286 in the first instance you can see this was support through september and october i'm not sure we've got enough momentum to take us up to test the highs from a couple of weeks ago but this doesn't look like a bad chart technically so certainly that first leg up looks very much on the cards trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now